Hey Pisces, star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Thank you for tuning in. All right, so there is a car alarm going on outside. That may mean something for you. Um, seven of wands. Being, hmm, hold on, let's see. Being guarded, being protected. Oh yeah. Let's see. Is this wow okay so the energy is definitely shifted you're you're leaving behind any you know disappointment any pain anything that's just not right and you know what that is. You know, it could even be like your own mindset. You know, that's preventing you from fully flowing and just releasing yourself into a connection. Now, this can be work, okay? I'm actually feeling like work. You know, like maybe there were things in the past that just kind of, you know, squashed your confidence, right? But it's like now you're like getting this, this pep in your step. And I think it's because something that I often do, or even lately, I've been like, you know what, universe, handle this for me. I'll, I'll show up but let everything come to me. So I feel like that's what's happening. You're getting opportunities. People are reaching out to you and that's giving you this sense of like, oh, hey, things are working out. Like it feels easy, okay? So what that's doing is it's, it's bringing back that confidence within yourself. So pay attention, like this alarm, to what's going on around you. Pay attention to how you feel. What's coming up? Who's reaching out? What are they offering you? Or what are they needing from you? And it's not a, you know, it's, I wanna say it's not a give and take. It's like an equal sharing. Like you both have to do certain things to make this work. You know, it's like, okay, you know, how, how would I even say this? It's like, you know, if you have a client and you're the, the vendor, like the client does something, you do something, you both do something, okay? And it's during this Virgo season. So that goes until, what is it? The 20th of September around there. That's when it'll switch into Libra which Libra is about balance, okay? So, you know, Virgos are really, you know, they're striving in this life is to get everything organized. You know, the research of things, like checking things off a list, that's very much Virgo energy. Mm, I don't like how that tastes, okay. Um, yeah, and if you don't like something, don't feel obligated, okay? You know, I'll water the plants with that tea later. So if something's not right for you, you know, just kind of wait because something else will come up. You know, it's, it's definitely a time to work right now. Things are gonna be speeding up and you'll be successful at it too. It's like you're going to get what you want. You know, as we're going into this, you know, uh, sorry, with that alarm, it's just the distractions, right? Venus went from retrograde to direct. So things in the heart space, the emotional space will start to speed up. Any loose ends you have wrapped up by now, okay? Um, Mercury going direct soon. So any stall in communication 
will start to move smoothly. You know, things might have been kind of slow, but there's a reason for that. It's a timing thing that you might not be aware of. Okay, so just like, okay, if things aren't gonna work out, well, let's just see what happens. Timing, okay? And then um, we also have a new moon. Okay, and goodness, what was it? All right, hold on. Let me read you something. I have a friend who's a very high level astrologer, okay? And he has this app. I'll, sh I'll show it to you if you're interested. There's a free version where you can um, access it day by day. Um, I, I support his work, so I, I subscribe, so then I get a whole month at once. But it's called Mark Lerner's Cosmic Calendar. It looks like this. And I have it on dark mode, so that's why it's like that. Um, but I was reading it, was it yesterday? Okay, this might be a lot right now, but hear me out. Yesterday. What is known astronomically as an inferior conjunction of the Sun and Mercury? This happened at 4.10 a.m., so 4 and a 1 a.m. Pacific time. And that takes place at 14 degrees of Virgo. So again, ones and fours. Ones are about the self, fours are about stability. Okay, so the term inferior simply refers to the reality that Mercury is between the Earth and the Sun, and there is a lineup in the solar system of Earth, Mercury retrograde, and the Sun. So then he quotes some, you know, high level astrologers, and its term is a new Mercury, similar in essence to a new moon, but occurring approximately every four months. Again, four, stability. It's during this, oh wait, it's during these new Mercury alignments that cosmic seed ideas can be absorbed by especially psychic human souls to help advance the evolution of Mother Earth. Okay, I'm gonna stop there because it gets super deep. There's just a snippet. So we just had that alignment yesterday. And as you know, energies reverberate out over several days. It's not like, oh, this is it and done. No, you feel it, <laughs> okay? So we're going to be feeling it. And then we're going to also get the new moon. So Mercury is about communication. How do you want to communicate differently to get what you want? And a lot of times it's a surrender, right? Remember, we were seeing a lot of the hanged man. That's to kind of wait, see what happens. And you might start to notice how opportunities are coming towards you now when it rains it pours okay so then we have this huge pile that flipped over i will actually go through all this what's at the bottom the sun so this is what you want okay all right so we've got the nine of swords so you i'm sure have been feeling anxiety am i doing the right thing maybe sleepless nights Okay, that's where there's a lot of psychic storms, psychic attacks, you know, confusion that tries to come in. It's going to happen. And you are sensitive, so you will pick up on it. Other people can sleep through anything. All right? All those earth signs out there. Okay. <laughs> they just, they can fall asleep standing up. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time sleeping. Okay, so 
Here we go, yeah, Page of Swords being watched. Who's watching, right? We got the Ace of Swords here. There's a big time truth here. It's like, you know, you're waking up, not that you were asleep asleep, but maybe you doubted your relationship with the universe, how you are able to manifest and create what you want in your life. I'm gonna drink some of this tea I don't like. Mm. As my voice, <clears throat> okay, excuse me, I know that's gross, but there's a constriction happening here, right? Where, where do you see that happening in your life? And if you just kind of sit with it, if you realize, wait, that's not my energy, that's that influence that tries to make you doubt, that tries to make you worry, that tries to make you think, oh, wait, no, this is all a bunch of, you know, crap. It's not true. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I don't believe it. Okay? The doubts. But watch it. Do an experiment in your life. Okay? This is all about you. <coughs> experiment. See what comes through. See what doesn't. You know, listen to your intuition and be like, okay, let me just see if this is real or not. Okay? Try it. Five of Swords. The Emperor. Wow, this is some powerful energy. Yeah, Six of Swords. So it's like, you know, let's just talk about social media for a second. It is meant to influence us, all right? Let's, let's, let's go through some semantics and like, what do words really mean, okay? So let's see, influence. The capacity or power of persons or things to be a compelling force on or produce effects on the actions, behaviors, opinions of others. The action or process of producing effects on the actions, behavior, opinions of another or others. A person or thing that exerts influence. Oh, interesting. There's an astrological definition as well. Let's read this, okay? The radiation of an ethereal fluid from the stars regarding, wow, regarded as affecting human actions and destinies, the exercise of occult power by the stars or such power as exercised. Okay, so know this. There are influences on a psychic level, spiritual level, astrological level that can influence you. And the key is to know that and be stronger than that. To see it, to not allow it to hurt you, but be like, oh, mm, that's that influence. Trying to turn my head and look at something that means nothing in my life for me. 1411, those ones and fours, okay? Keep focusing on you and what you want. If you need to take a pause, take a pause. Every time you take a step, take a pause, evaluate. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, you are being divinely guided. This could be by a passed on masculine energy. Okay, 1444. That's been doing their best to get your attention. Maybe you've ignored it. Okay. All right, let's finish. We've got a few more in this pile. 
We've got the Ten of Wands, Burdens, Heavy Things. We've got the Knight of Swords. And I think that's what it's asking you to do is just anything that just doesn't feel right is too heavy or uncomfortable on your back. Put it down. Move forward. It's not saying that that thing's dead forever. It's just not now. It's not a no. It's just a not now. Okay, so if it's not working out, just put it aside. Okay? Confirmation. Focus on. Because look, we got a Knight of Swords. This is what's coming in quickly. Guess what you're going to be focusing on? Ace of Cups. Oh, Four of Wands. This is about different partnerships, different commitments, different things that are going to make you feel good. Oh, in your heart? What? <laughs> oh, wait, I thought it was empty in there. And I know you do this because I was talking to another fellow Pisces the other day. And it's like, we love the idea of love. We want everyone to be in love. But we might be at this point where we're like, oh, but not us. I'm going to be by myself forever, but everyone else go be in love. The universe is saying no. You get to focus on a love that's coming towards you. Pay attention to how you feel around people. Does someone make you feel good? Hang out with them, right? If you feel a little warm fuzzy or a little sparkle twinkle in your eye, pursue that. And you know what, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but at least you put yourself out there, okay? Don't futurize too much. I tell my friends this all the time. Start as a friend first. You know, sometimes someone asks you out, and next thing you know, you're imagining what your kids are gonna look like. Ugh, that can cause problems. Get to know someone, okay? Have fun. All right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. Beautiful reading. Don't doubt yourself, all right? Please subscribe, please like. It helps the videos get out there. Um, yeah, any donations? Great. Goes into a nonprofit, a legitimate one, 501, all that. Helps out some artists, you know, so they don't implode. Okay, all right, I love you. See you soon.